Made it in the end. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So, it's um, very surprisingly 2-0 to center, and I didn't really think this would be the case. He's the red turn player in the upper right-hand corner from MVP. Um, I didn't really think this would be the case at all. Center, I mean, who even is center? Like, you know, he's pretty good. You know, he's not completely, you know, he's not unknown by any stretch of the imagination, but compared to Lasira, I think center's, um, I think Lucia would probably definitely be favoured coming into this. So to take two maps to run two macro games as well. He's been doing pretty darn good for himself. And uh, I'm not going to choose here in game number three either. I thought maybe 2-0 up on overgrowth. Maybe he goes for something aggressive. Maybe he goes for a proxy, a couple of proxy barracks. See what, ha what can happen. Um, but not the case here. And um, down to the bottom left hand side we do have our blue Zerg player to Lucia. Also playing for team MVP. So, hatchery first for Lassira, and um, the drone comes across the map to just scout here, and uh, we do just have what's going to be a Reaper expand coming in for our Terran player center, and uh, this first drone dibbling away at that SEV build in the barracks, we're not really able to achieve all too much, and uh, we'll just come in and get the complete scout off, so that's pretty nice. Both these uh, SEVs turn around actually to start fighting that drone. The drone goes very far down on hit points. It might actually get caught here. Oof! Makes it into an extract at the last moment. So, uh, drone survives. Supply Depot coming down in the wall. And uh, we're going to see a second Reaper already queued up here. And, uh, whoa, double gas? Was that just an extractor trick? Yeah, okay. Was, oh no, of course he's got this extractor over here. Wow, I always get confused. This, this, when people take like a gas steal, he always confuses me in the production side. I'm like, whoa, second gas, or whoa, an early gas. What's going on? And really, it's just like one of their gases is, uh, you know, on the other side of the map. It's not actually going to be mined from. Um, it always catches me off guard. It's one of them things. All right, so first reaper across the map here will start to move in, and. Uh, We'll just uh, start picking away at these drones, at a couple of things as well. Try and do whatever it can. First thing goes down, and uh, drone actually gets picked off there as well, cancelling that a bit too, uh, a little bit too early. So center looking good right at the start of this game. And again, he's looked great in two macro games so far. So if it goes into that macro game again, I really struggle to see the Sierra taking it. I mean. Sandler's just played so, 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 so good in them first two macro games. It's been kind of crazy to watch, so. See what happens as um, Reaper's just uh, moving forward. Second Reaper here now as well. Reactor is on the way down. I think the factory must already be finished. As uh, Sandler's just going to uh, start his starboard as well, so. Same as before, just. Uh, must be careful of that Reaper. Just don't want to lose it. Picks off another lane. Um, same as before from uh, Sensor, just starboard on the way, going to be able to get a Viking out early on. This time there's nothing crazy going on from Lasira, there's no gold base or anything like that. Sensor going to start splitting up his Reapers, going to uh, go check with the third base for one. I uh, go check for the third base with one. The other just uh, falling back all the way home actually. And uh, just getting it back home before speed comes up for his opponent. Doesn't want to be caught out on the map with them Reapers, otherwise they'll die. Uh, you know, Reapers can't run, outrun speed lanes. So, um. Yeah, first two Hellions are out, third and fourth Hellion on the way. Uh, with the Hellion, of course, the, with the Hellions, of course, the Reapers can do a little something. And uh, this Reaper down here has spotted that third base and will now uh, relocate with the Hellions and other Reaper. And uh, we'll try and get a little bit of damage on this. Let's see if we're putting down a Bailing Nest. It's just a Bailing Nest on the way then for Lysia right now, just for safety's sake, basically. And as uh, this hatchery starts to take a fair bit of damage. 16 more Lings being made. 
And, um, yeah, I mean, he kind of needs the Lingus to be able to deal with these uh, units over here at the third base right now. Queen's is slowly making the way over here. Some Hellions still left back at home will be nice to uh, defend a counterattack. In fact, is Lysira just going to go all in? He's just going to make a bunch of Banelins and attack? I mean, he definitely could. But I don't know how, how much I like that option against Cloak Banshee and more Hellions and so on from center. Um, Hellions in the middle of the map now. The Ling is maybe just going to go try run by. Again, I don't think the... Uh, I don't think the um, Bayonet was ever attend intended to be aggressive. I'm pretty sure it was just a, an attempt to, uh, you know, just in case there was Hellbats about to hit him or something like that. So. So the Zerglin's starting to run in. He actually invested in armor here. And Hellbats are attacking this third base. Wow, really? Really? Zygnus going for a run by at the same time, though. There's a Banshee which can turn around and help out, and more Hellions being made. I just didn't even realize he made an armory. I was kind of like, well. <laughs> How sad. This is, uh. <laughs> potentially the last game of the day of the Winter Series, and I may have just completely fucked up the casting. Ling is hitting the front door here. SCV's being pulled. They will repair just in time. Banshee will come and help out as well. He's going to get the repair on the next Evo too. And he repairs. He holds over here. Ling is continuing to be uh, burnt to crisps over. And uh, let's see has lost his third base as well. As uh, he'll start to uh, pull his Ling's back from that wall. So no real worker damage done on either side. Only three workers killed by center. He's going to run into these Lings now. He has to be a little bit careful with these Hellions. Hellbats will come forward against the Lings and try and help out. The Lings are just going to keep moving across the map, though, and it's kind of hard to see them actually doing anything, though. I mean, what are they going to do? Hit this wall and then what? I mean, there's uh, Banshees, there's more Hellions. And um, right now, Center's just uh, kind of chasing these Lings around, left, right, and center. Center with another uh, <laughs> left, right, and center. Do you get it, center? It wasn't even meant to be a joke. I'm um, sending moving across the map with the Banshee, and uh, we'll be able to just try and do a little bit more damage here. Cloak is finished for that, and uh, picks off the Zerglin remaining on the Watchtower. I mean, the series had plenty of time to prepare for the Cloak Banshee, so he does have Spore Crawlers up. They're not going to be able to do too much. Simpak finishing up here, 1-1 one, one on the way for Arterion as well, and I mean, losing that third base is just so detrimental for Lysira. And, um, I mean, there's so many Hellions left as well right now that he can just actually go for with so many Hellbats once he goes for a 1-1 one, one push, and that's going to be very shortly. Um, once this first Benefax comes out, he will begin to move across the map with probably about 16-ish Marines already starting to take his um, Watchtower here. Going to morph his uh, rest of these Hellions into Hellbats, and I thought that he was going to go get them repaired, but he didn't in the end. This Banshee actually picks up 9 kills. No, I think that's mostly on the Zerglings. We would have seen them on the side if those killing drones. And, um, yeah, Senna just going to move into position to defend his third base, which is, in again, a position where he can push forward from. Very aggressive position. He's going to move down this bottom side uh, with these uh, Rebellions now and uh, see if he can get anything done. I mean, there's a uh, third base here, which, uh, which only really Queens to defend it for now. And the Queen the Hellions are actually going to split up. They're actually going to find some Zerglings. Really nice play by Senna. Finds them Zerglings. No problem at all. Zerglings going to come around the top side as well. Banshee uh, shutting them down for now, and I think again as 1-1 finishes with combat shields, or even just now, it's time to go, it's time to move forwards and try and see what damage he can get done. Reinforcements will have to deal with these incoming lings, in fact he's actually just turned around to deal with them incoming lings. And I think you'll see her realizing he can't really get too much done here at all. Supplies kind of tell us to, uh, blah, blah, supplies tell the story of this game guys, 30 supply up for center overall. 12 of that in workers, 20 in army. And I mean, he's got so many Hellbats right now. Banelins don't even have Banelins speed for a few more moments. There's mines mixed into this as well. These Hellbats are just going to be able to do so, so much. Stimming in for a few of these Marines. Going to pick off this first Queen to begin with. And whoa, the Hellbats get really good shots. Really good Hell uh, Banelin hits there onto the Hellbats. And uh, he's actually going to have to lift up and just get out of here with those Medivacs of units. Reinforcements coming forwards, and they will be able to save him, I think, against the Mutalisk. It's going to be so close, though. He's going to lose the full medevac. Not quite, not quite. Okay, he does in the end. And the Syria will be able to keep on moving forwards from this point. Stim comes in, though, and that's going to be enough to turn this around. 
That Bainan connection on the gr big group of Hellbats was so important as Lasira sees an opportunity to uh, kind of do some damage. He's going to try and go for this. Bainans don't connect there, and uh, now these Lings and Muters just kind of getting absolutely decimated. Some more Bainans were being morphed in. Banshee spots them and will work away on a couple of them. And again, though, it's just basically pure Marine here. Is this going to turn around and start fighting? I think Bainans are rolling forwards off of Creep, though. How are the splits from center? Pretty good so far. Banshee cloaks and we'll be able to add a bit of extra damage on. And uh, center is in such a good position right now. I mean, still, I mean, he def he's just deflected it. He's got 2-2 two -two on the way. There's no upgrades at all right now for Lysira. His creep spread is not very good. He's, um... He's free base against free base in our town player. Now 40 supply. I'm going to move across the map again. Now the Sierra is able to hold on. Last time I said this, will he get good Bane and hits once again? That's going to be the question here. He's 30 army supply down. It's going to be difficult, but can he make it happen? Can he find a way? Can he get the connections he needs? Well, we've got a little bit of bio sim and forwards here already. Going to start uh, uh, getting into this as the mines do. Bro, the mine hits are going to be pretty huge, I think. The splits are pretty good. Actually starting to run out of Terran units here, though, and uh, the mines getting cleaned up as well. Sending going to be forced back home again. And Lazira finds a way to hold on once more. The mine hit here could be pretty big, though. It takes down a lot of Zerglings. And there's only really Bailings left now. Some Zergles coming in from behind. The Bailings continue to push through. Will connect with a lot of them there. Uh, what, what do I want to say? A lot of the um, Marines. Center needs to take a moment or two, I think, to just kind of pull everything together and just get ready to go with everything at the same time. And Overseer here is uh, not quite going to go down. The Zerglings will, though. I think another uh, Mutalist has picked off just another Medivac there. And... Um, well, center. Still with a big chunk of army here taking this uh, right hand watchtower. Not many banners right now, though. And 2 2 is about to finish, so as time goes on, things will just get better and better for center. And this is a fight which I think center definitely can win as well, as these lings continue to come in. But, I mean, reinforcements are coming in as well. Look at that. Marauders survive. He picks up the Marauders, saves them against the Mutalisks. We just have to turn around for now. 2-2 finished, and this just gets better and better again for center. 2-2 against 0-0 is a dream come true for a Terran player. A couple of medevacs wherever they were initially. I'll boost him back home right now, and uh, center maybe just going to get ready to go once again. Nasira, he's been doing so well at holding off these pushes time after time after time, but surely soon he just has, you know, something just has to give. Surely at some point, center just finds a way to actually close this out. And, um... All well, these muters kind of just flying around, looking for an opportunity. A lot of banners here are going to crash into an unsuspecting uh, center, maybe. Well, he stims now. He's going to start splitting. The splits are already looking pretty darn good. Banners hitting Marauders. A couple of Bain uh, a couple of links from behind, but it's not going to be enough. And GG called center takes the game and the series three games.